Oop. More remain. Two more boxes for that. But yeah, at that point, I think I could take all the boxes on the way up here and just take them down and go use them to access other stuff. I feel like by the end of this, you have a terrifying number of boxes just kind of roaming. All right, so I have to grab this to even continue. Doing that is bad. So it's just right there. My only goal is to find a way up in the first place. It should be impossible to get into that crevice. I pretty much just need one box that's back here. And the whole thing's done with. There's got to be a better way. There it is. We got to go higher. How... How would one go higher? So I need a box where I'm standing, right? Hmm. Let's grab you. There we go. Easy. The difficulty the difficulties are always all over the place and it's hard to tell how much of it is the developer being adding intentional pacing because all the all of them being hard back to back would be rough so they often they often have like I think it's like the like the developers of Portal that talked about this like having like a uh, a pacing to difficulty where you have a bunch, you have kind of like a you have spikes of difficulty surrounded by easier puzzles so that you can feel like you get some momentum here and there because if you do every if every puzzle's hard back to back then you kind of lose your mind but it's hard to tell when that's happening on purpose and when it's just the whole like different brains solve things differently ha 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 wow it's crazy aka 50% of the comments on every puzzle game i've played for the last decade wow this is just a nice convenient staircase to get me to the top let me guess, it's basically impossible to get this over here. This guy just endlessly wants to burn all of his belongings and memories. He's just a big fan of, uh... What? Whoa! That's going to be a mechanic later. Probably. Maybe maybe later? I feel like it's probably not coming up yet, but that's... Having boxes you can stand on, but only once, then they go away and clear the path for you is probably going to be important at some point. That seems like the kind of thing this game would pull. And games like it have definitely pulled already, from what I've seen. Let's get you away from there. You. 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 Uh, is there no way to push it off of the other one? Mm, I don't think I can. So if I could push it from above, then like the top one, then it would be one below, and then I could just grab it there, and take off with it, do things. Instead, I can do no things. Thanks for the memories, even if they weren't so great. I can't even put that on top of there on purpose. And he always holds it at shoulder height, so you can't use one to push another one. Yeah, there's even a hole here. 
But I think I also can't push them if I can stand on them. You can only push towers. Because I think, I think you're... You got like a pick up button, a cancel button, and a rewind button. But I think that's basically it. Camera tilt. Oh, just that. Yeah. Yeah, we're not missing much overall. I don't think I had the ability to... I could burn it, but I couldn't necessarily drop it down. Oh wait, unless that's what we're doing now. Is that what we're doing already? Maybe the level name was a hint? Or maybe the, or maybe this could even be an unintentional solution I'm getting into. Either way, we got it. Wow, that's not, that's not the direction I thought we were going with that. It's called artery. That doesn't feel like a clue about solve about burning boxes. Operation. Granted, I have not looked closely at most of the puzzle names to begin with. Excuse me. Operation. It's water on the knee. Operation. <laughs> Okay. This one's rewarding me or incentivizing looking around with the camera. Which, sure. But where is the actual thing I need? Maybe if I push this side in. Ah. Wait, was that always there? Can I grab it from here? How the heck? Okay, so it's here. I guess it was always here? Yes. So first, I need to push you like this. There we go. Because now we know where it is. And now I need to push it through like I was doing earlier. Because it looks like you can't, like, pull out here because there's a box behind you. This one's cute. Okay, we'll put you in the corner. Because now there should be at least two of them that are available from the outside. I think I'll need those for the staircase. Boom! Things are going okay. What do I do with extra box? Roll over, cry. The crate tower. That's a lot of crate. I win. Okay. What are we looking at here? Oh, it's weird. It's like toothy. Okay. Oopsie. So that should allow me to push in. That's how I disassemble the great tower. How much tower do I get? So I can climb up one step. So I need a tower that's at least one, two, three, four tall. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hmm. This is my, I don't think that math checks out face. That's four. Oopsie. 
Oopsie. That's two. That's one. All right. Shit. So I would need three more to create a staircase. But we've kind of learned already, haven't we? Because this game's got some fucky stuff going on. So it's a, it's a thing I've struggled with a lot of the puzzle games, but... There's these games where you have to plan... You have to think in terms of a state that's temporary. You can't just... Lay things out and think of what the final outcome is going to look like. Which is how you should try to solve puzzles. We, we did this a lot of... Um, well, I've had a lot of combinational style games where you have to move stuff around in a specific sequence. Like in Pipe Push Paradise or... Uh, not, not Snowman, I haven't played Snowman yet. Uh, Monsters Expedition. But even like... Uh, even games like uh, Full Bore, I would make the mistake of thinking about stuff in terms of where the blocks are going to end up and not like all the weird temporary state stuff. Like, oh, that, blo that block will float there for a second after I push off the cliff, which allows me to jump up and go onto that thing. And, oh, that'll be destroyed when I go there, but I can still do something in that time. And that stuff really messed with me. I'm not always so good at that. Hmm. So I can, I can zigzag back and forth. I have seven total, and I need a tower of four. So I, I'm probably gonna end up with a tower of a four and tower of three. So what can I do here? Ooh. Shit. If I look like I fuck up the controls here and there, it's because, somewhat strangely, this game doesn't... Uh, you don't have tank controls. So you don't turn, you just press the four directions you can move in. Are we good? Maybe not. Not exactly. But uh, yeah, you, you just push left, right, and so on. Uh, you press you press whatever direction you want to go in on the cardinal directions. And uh, if he's not already facing that direction, then he rotates to face that direction as his first action. And then you press again to move. But I keep wanting to have, like, a rotate button. Um... Who can I do this? Hey! Okay, so we're getting our staircase tech going. Did it make a little heart? Aw. Hello, box. Be gone, box. Jagged staircase. Um, staircase go here, but objective is here. Get it together, game developer. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, what's deal, bro? What is deal, bro? Welp. <laughs> Welp. Okay, I gotta re rewind to get back there. Huh. So because the staircase is here, I can't walk backwards to knock one of them off. So I only need two of these to get the top. Maybe I'll just take a few. Let's, let's get a better camera angle. Is it possible to come back? It let me go on both sides. That's pretty okay. Okay. <laughs> Okay, no, I, I can drop down from up here, right? Okay. Yeah, I couldn't duck under here, which causes some problems. 
In fact, I think I've caused myself some new problems now. Let's walk backwards. I can pick these up together now. Hmm. Now I can't move. I'm trapped. Hmm. You know what? I think this might not have been the solution. All right, let's... Shit. She it. She it. She it, she it, she it, she it, she it. I only need the... I only need the crate and one box to win. Bye. Yeah, I can't walk to the right side of this platform when I'm in that state. This strikes me as mostly unhelpful. I don't think there's any way to switch places with this. Really, at this point, the left box is just unhelpful. I only needed to drop onto it the one time. Now I don't think there's a way to get rid of it. Hmm. But how else? I'm trying to think of what uh, what is possible here. And I'm like, how else do I get to my crate? If not this staircase. Like, have I made a mistake already or not is the question I'm having right now. Because like, that is a three tall tower. I need a two next to it, and then I need a one to get on top of the two. I mean, I could hop onto a two or anything from this height, but then I won't be able to get to the next row, so the two has to be there. I have to be able to walk across. I can't make a uh, an equal bridge because I don't have a I don't have a fourth crate, a, four, a fourth box. If I could get back onto the staircase with the crate. Then I could just deal with it from the outside. But that's not so much an option. What else can I do here? It genuinely feels like making that little staircase is the only way to continue, and then I have to somehow be able to get out of this. But I'm wrong about that kind of stuff all the time, so who knows? Pretty sure this just makes me completely stuck. And yeah, I can't move off the space whatsoever. There's no taking that anywhere else. But if I drop this here, I literally can't pick up any of the boxes and can't go anywhere and do anything. It's all around a rough spot to be in. And like, that's it. Those are my two options with that box. Drop them on one of those two spots. Leaving it up here is just doing nothing. So that's pointless. But I can't get it on top of that staircase as far as I can tell. I can't even pick up this box to move it somewhere else. I'm 100% locked in this configuration. Hmm. I put two on the left, that shouldn't be useful, right? Because I could drop down from here, but then on the right there will be one box, and then I can't reach the crate. 
I can't also go anywhere else. I, um, hmm. I feel like I've like math met it's not the right word for it necessarily, but I like I've I've eliminated all possibilities. You ha I think. Like that staircase has to be there. So there has to be something else I can do with it. So I guess our hmm. Our current problem is that this block I'm standing on is ruining my day. Can I do something with that? It might be time to start using this mechanic. Okay, let's just let's let's just start all the way over. Or how did I get out of here? Shit. Uh over here. I need to separate these in a usable way. So we've got our ash crate. So we've established that this is a mechanic, this little piece of weird. So if I put the ash crate there, I can use it as a temporary moment to get up here, and now it's gone, and it will stop ruining my goddamn day. There we go. Yes. Okay. So we need to think. We need to think in temporary states with the weirdness of building a ladder while we're climbing it. But we also need to try to think about the possibility of removing blocks altogether, which is a little scary. Because among other things, you then are thinking about like, do I need to start this whole thing over sometimes? And the answer is kind of yes. Because <laughs> if I screw that up, we're rewinding quite a bit. Once it, once I need to go back. I feel like I might as well leave the boxes that are required to do what I did. Oh yeah, I took one of them away from here. Um. There we go. Might as well make the leave the level being traversable all right so we just finished all the bonus area there that's what i i think we'll call it at least they were optional as far as i can tell set this down here and start the next sequence going up i guess what's uh going on over there maybe it's supposed to be a yarn blanket that weird pile of boxes that, and cubes that are on the uh the couch it almost looks like a mold or something. So we already beat those three levels, and then I realized that there was a, a secret hiding over here. So I went on the whole thing to find those. I went, Now I'm more paranoid, like, what, what secrets might be lurking out there? It's like a bunch of stacked boxes out there. I, went, I wonder if I'll have a way of knowing at some point what the total number of levels is in the game, and then I can, like, figure out how many I've done. I think the, yeah, the pause menu has a number. So I know, I'll know how many I did, but I need to figure out how many th the game has to begin with. We have long boy boxes, and this boy, who's also here. See, it's, it's, it's often easier to grab these from the end. So yeah, we have the opportunity to put them in these pegs. This one I have to grab differently. Hmm. Mm. Hmm. Hmm. See, I should not be able to grab it the long way. Because then I can't put it in. Hmm. And that's the puzzle. Yeah. Once that step is in, I can just go up there and finish the level. Okay, so how do I get this step done? 
it's useful to push you in. I just lose a step, but I can't reach it anyway. So that's not gonna not gonna help me. How am I gonna put it in there? I think I do want to push you in. Use my dude here as a step. Cause I need to be this height to put it in. Phrasing, phrasing, phrasing. There we go. These ones actually might be relatively easy compared to the the off the trail ones. I might have a little bit of a victory spree here. There we go. Just had to realize I can't use the other step to solve it because height problems. And now I'm already at the new le the next levels. Although I think I was here once before, but then took the boxes elsewhere. Is it a scorpion? No, it's a dinosaur toy. Uh, more bonus levels up there. Keep that in mind. But yeah, as, as fun as it is to kind of get ahead of myself, I do I do think I'll largely beat the levels in order. Granted, that's made ambiguous by there being optional levels. Also, who knows what level what order these levels are meant to be played in? They're just near each other, and there's not like an objective order they're presented in. They're just kind of in a cloud. Okum dokum. How am I gonna? How am I gonna? How am I gonna? Uh. Push you. There it goes. I figured I needed to bridge the gap with Long Boy. Long, long boy. Did I just do it? I don't. I don't trust levels I beat early that I beat quickly. I'm like, wait, wait, wait. I was, but the other ones really stumped me for a while. I don't know how. I'm not emotionally prepared for a level to just get defeated in a couple minutes. After how long I stare at some of the other ones, we're almost there. I need to find a way to connect across, which might just be putting a block down. Might be enough. I take these are the I take those three as being the secret, and this is the obvious way forward. I think that's pretty unambiguous. Tool, don't fucking talk to me that way. Much I'm, I'm not having that much trouble yet. It's just some aha moments to figure out that it's take a bit of a moment to do the aha. Um, this one's rough. If I could just push it so slightly, I'd be set. Like, if it was within range, it would just be like, boop, Steven Sauce's roll moment right into the fire. They have to have played Steven Sausage Roll, right? I mean, like, I think they're a cup. I think, like, these kind of puzzle game makers are a particular community that I will often play to those games by default anyway, but, like, not only is it a block-based Sokoban thing where you and a thing you're holding occupy multiple spaces at once, which compl compl uh, complicates the base formula, but you're specifically trying to put stuff in fires. And then there's an overworld between the fires, which you kind of solve through a bit. It's like, that seems oddly similar. There's a bunch of columns in the background. What is this environment? I'm not really sure what's going on world-wise. Anyway, I uh, am completely stumped right now on what to do. I'm still kind of poking at that one. God, if I was one pixel closer, I could knock it into the fire right from the distance we started at. But we're not. Yeah, putting a block on top of it doesn't help in any way. I don't, 
This is me not having a plan. Look at me go. I also can't drop it midway through my swing, so I can't interact with this diagonal box. I'm not sure what to do. I can't... Blip. Let's see. I grab you and put you here. I can't grab this from under me, right? I can't, like, pick this back up. Just trying to think of, like, ways to, like, build upwards. But, like, getting taller doesn't save me. I need to get... Elsewhere. Well, but getting taller helps, kinda. It helps, kinda. How weird can we get? How weird can we get? Hello? Well, that's not entirely helpful. Let's, uh... Pivot by one first. And then try the same thing. Now I'm up here. Oops. Uh, uh, I'm right here. What do I do differently? It's just, it's just, it's dangling out of reach. I just kind of figured I was supposed to try to cross this gap somehow. I can't, I don't think I can take the small box with me. Because I need to be able to climb up on top of this in order to use it as a bridge, right? But we can't use it as a bridge much because it stops here, but I can't push it... I, like, I, ideally I would be able to push it out by one. And then, the, and then the, the block it starts on would be the same height still. But there is no support to the left or right. It's just a drop into the water, so it just falls right in. And that creates for us some problems. So I got. I think even I've. What the fuck do I do? I think even if I got the big block to be here, I couldn't like bat it into the. I don't think I could bat the crate into the fire because I would swing over it. I figure we probably make a gun-shaped thing and just figure out something to do with it. Because taking them with me lets me come up this high without having to worry about the heights of things. But I guess it's not necessarily relevant because there's already one at the bottom. It's already staircase-shaped up till now. This is... The one of the weirder moves where it's over me. Which was like sometimes a good idea in Steven, I think. And I was just hanging out on top of me. <laughs> There's some way to be smart here. <laughs> just requires a different player to be a smart boy, obviously. All right, well, now it looks like a kazoo. These are helpful observations. You're welcome. Because mm. it's like I've got to pull a diagonal maneuver twice.
still just kind of poking at it and wondering what I ever expected. I mean, it's the hole is shaped like it. I started getting a weird idea of being able to push something into the fire, which I don't even know why I'd want to do that. Really just any opportunity. Sometimes you just kind of focus on little micro details, like you're untangling a knot and you're just focusing on one particular fold and seeing if that might ultimately lead to the whole thing unraveling. Then after spending like a good minute on it or something, you're like, yeah, I don't know what I ever expected that to do, even if I could do it, and I can't do it in the first place, so... Kind of a quadruple fail. TBH. Mm. Nothing's working so far. Oops. I might be able to work with that, actually. Not like that, though. Yep. All right. You gotta find the right approach. I get into a particular, like, avenue, and then I, like, exhaust every possibility of that one, and then I'm, like, finally, like, okay, I just need to completely do something different. Because this, like, staircase building while you're on it process that worked in other levels, this isn't one of those ones, it would seem.